Hey everyone! Welcome to, I don't know what it's called actually, but we're doing Season 7 Queens from RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, my eyebrows are already covered. That was going to take about 40 minutes because my eyebrows are giant. And if you don't know how to cover your eyebrows, glue stick! Purple glue stick, so you know when it's done because then the purple disappears. Today, I'm going to start off with Miss Tempest Du Jour. We're going to do the look uh, from the promo thing that they released with all the queens. She has really good hair with like the roots and stuff that I don't. So we're going to go with that long type of blonde wig that she wore in the first challenge, the nude challenge that long. That's the only one that I have. I don't have anything fancy that does this swooping motion. And this is, this is essentially the same colors as her dress, so I mean black and white is the, pretty much the same, so you know what, we're banging it up. So we're gonna start with my base. I've done my eyebrows. I'm going to use my very worn out, it's Mehron. It's technically like Kryolan TV paint stick, but this is just Mehron. And just, it's, it's on its last legs. I actually really liked Miss Tempest. I liked her story. Her story seemed really nice. With all the weight loss and she has really cute kids. And I'm kind of sad that she went home first, but I mean somebody has to go home first, so she shouldn't feel too bad. Oh, my lips look so upsetting. So once I've got that, we're going to start in with our contour. Hers is actually very blended. When we get to Trixie Mattel, I think I'm just going to... Tempest has a very rectangle face, and I have a very round face. We do not have similar features. But you know what? That's what contouring is for, people. Pistols, it's a bit of a gray. I'm just gonna outline her crease. She's looking up, so I can't see her crease, but I'm assuming that it is just a weak liner and an exaggerated crease. Right, so then she brings her eyeliner, which I'm just gonna outline with this, right down, kind of in a semi. She kind of just does a whole circle around her eye, actually. I'm drawing eyebrows. I'm gonna take my lovely powder and just go around my contour. Oh, blend it because this particular look is blended. Again, when we get to Trixie Mattel, none of this will be occurring. I'm gonna use my little Aura cream color from my Venus palette from Live Grime. We're gonna use that as a base on the lid, and then also we're gonna bring it underneath where she's decided to make a big old cavernous hole beneath her. That sounded terrible. Hashtag cavernous hole. All right, so she has quite. Oh goodness. Well, we're gonna guess. Alright, so now I'm gonna go over my brows with a little colors black. I'm gonna go over the brow and I'm also going to go into I'm going to go into my crease, and I think she has like the slightest amount of pink blended into the top there, so we're going to blend that in, in a hot second. It's bad when the camera is turned towards me because I can feel my own okay, sorry. I am going to blend a little bit, a little bit of something. Lip. I'm gonna firm it up with some powder. We're just gonna, we're gonna find some, some 
Listen, Bianca Del Rio ruined me, okay? I have like 28 pairs of 301s and precisely nothing else. So now we're going to place my lashes, which... So they fan out and announce to the world, I'm wearing eyelashes. Don't do it while it's drying, though. There is nothing worse than in the middle of a night when a, one eyelash is just half off and fluttering in the wind. Because then you have the dilemma of, do I rip it off? Do I just G-gun the hell out of it and take one off? On to the lip. When these have dried to a sufficient amount, we're gonna put a little uh, mascara on to try and trick the bullet that these are somewhere close to your real eyelashes. There we go, that's the ticket. I literally just mix white powder with a little bit of very like light skin powder. And that's my highlight because it looks really white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to carve out. This is my Tempest Du Jour look. I'm so sad that she went home because she was very lovely and sweet. Goodbye, everyone. This is Jamie as Tempest Du Jour signing.